Hey, what's going on, y'all? So first, I'm going to start by taping down the client's lashes. I rip six pieces of tape for each eye. Um, so that's 12 pieces of tape total. I use about three inches tall, two inches wide. And I just place these on her bottom lashes. Make sure that you are not placing them directly on the client's waterline. For me, I touch the waterline and I slightly move the tape down just a little bit, all right? Her lashes were a little dirty, so I just went ahead and cleaned them because we can't lash dirty lashes. And then here I am again, just reapplying some new tape. All right, now that we've taped our client up, she is ready to begin the lashing process. So here I am just applying some primer. Um, it is very important that you apply a fair amount of primer. Make sure that your micro swab is very saturated and wet, and so should the lashes. You wanna get all in between the lashes, in front of the lashes, on top of the lashes, and behind the lashes. You really wanna make sure they're nice and clean, and you're putting this, um, it's like a helper to help the glue bond to the extensions a little bit better. So you really want to make sure you get this part correct. Now I'm going ahead and I'm taking one piece of tape and I am taping down the top lashes. So I'm going to take one and put it in a slant and then the other one in another slant. So it should be in a shape of an X. All right. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other eye. Make sure when you're doing this, the lashes um, are nice and straight up. They're not going left and right. Make sure that they're combed out properly, going straight up. It should be very neat. If you see all of mine are going straight up, um, it doesn't look messy. Now I'm taking another piece of tape and I'm pulling the skin on the eyelid. This is going to help... Um, expose the lashes. It's going to help separate the lashes a little bit more so I can easily isolate. All right, now I'm going to begin to take the hairs from under the tape. Now, for this one, it is very important that you do this in gaps. And it is also very important that you, that you try your hardest to take out one piece of lash at a time. Try your hardest to take out one hair at a time. Now, you may take out three or two at a time, like I just did right there. And that's okay. Like, don't start over again. Just keep going. But just try your hardest. Take your time. This part takes a little minute, especially if you're now beginning. Take your time with this part. This will show the neatness um, and really help with your isolation. So you really want to take your time with doing this. Now we're gonna get a good comb through because combing it helps fluff out the lashes and separate it. Now I did about 20 there, maybe 15 for you guys just to show you what it looks like. But for me personally, and for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna take out some more hairs. My isolation is pretty good, so I can take out more hairs at once. Now if you're just beginning, I recommend only taking out 10 to 15 pieces of hair at one time. If you're very good at isolation, then you can take out as many as I did, up to 20 or 30. And right now you just see me lashing the first layer, all right? Here I am removing the tape that we use to tape down the top lashes. I'm removing both pieces of tape. And right there you can see that the bottom lashes are exposed. I'm taking that tape and taping down the tippy top of the extensions. Do not tape down the entire lash, just the tippy top. This will help when you go to remove the tape. As you can see right here, the lashes got stuck. Just hold the lash and remove it um, with the tweezers, all right? And as you can see, the bottom and middle layer are now exposed. That's what I'm brushing right now. And I'm gonna go in and just do the same thing I did um, in the step before with lashing the layers. But now I'm lashing two layers at once, all right? Again, for some people, that may be too many lashes exposed at once for you to lash. So I recommend doing it with what you're comfortable with. If you're comfortable with less lashes, take out more lashes from under the tape before removing all of the tape, if that makes sense. 
here i'm just removing the tape from the lashes as you can see i'm putting pressure on the lash as i'm removing the tape no lashes came off here i am fluffing it with the tweezer and the mascara wand very important now i'm just going and adding some extra lashes now i'll be doing the same thing putting my finger on the eyelid and putting a little bit of pressure on it that will help you see the top layer a little bit better um as well as trying to only take out one lash at a time and doing it in gaps this will help so when you go in to apply the extensions you don't have to worry about separating the lashes with another tweezer all right make sure when you get in the inner corner that you close the tweezers so you don't accidentally prick your client Now I'm just fluffing out the lashes, making sure they're nice and straight and separated. And then I'll be taking the pieces of tape on the eyelid and I'll be pulling them toward myself just a little bit. When you do this, make sure your client's eyes are still closed. Um, and this will just help expose the lashes. As you can see, as I'm pulling the tape upward, the lashes are separating, which will make it easier for me to go ahead and um, lash those natural lashes. Now I am removing the tape from the top lashes and I will go ahead and take that tape again and tape down just the tippy top of the extensions. Now when you do this you may not be able to cover all of the lashes that is okay just work in sections as you can see I'm just taping down the left and middle side of the extensions. As you can see here, some of the lashes start to come out a little bit as I'm brushing it, and I'm glad they are. That's why I do brush it, so the ones with bad placement, I can take out and redo them before my client leaves. Alright y'all, and that wraps it up. I do ask that you watch this video five times before starting.